fits over my whole head. Cool. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in my studio this morning. Insika just ended yesterday and I am like on an Insika high. You guys ever done that? You guys ever gone to a conference in your industry and you come back and you're just like, fool, fired up. I'm like torn in between like, wow, there's a lot of good pottery out there and there's just so much work to be done. There's so much opportunity in the ceramic pottery field right now. Hopefully you guys got something out of all the Insika videos that I did. Today, we're unloading a full kiln. And that giant piece, remember the giant piece that I tried once and then it went <laughs> Fell off wheel. And then I tried it again and then I glazed it and made a video about that. You remember all that? Exciting things, exciting things. I think I have a lot of video ideas that I've kinda just been like waiting to film in the new studio so that we can get out of this. Don't get me wrong, I have a very, very, there's a place in my heart for this studio. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta make some space so we can really unload this thing right. Clean this stuff up. All right, friends, I think that's clean enough. Clean enough for us. Thanks to our sponsor, Continental Clay. Clay and glazes, go check them out. I've I've used Continental Clay for the last 10 years, ever since my ceramic journey started. I've been using their clay, and they are awesome. Super fun hanging out with them at Ensika. Uh, second thing is the Kickstarter. So I just wanted to say shout out to everyone. I'm super pumped that we hit our goal. Helped immensely for some of the studio costs to bring that down a little bit. Uh, the whole project still cost mm, a lot, but the Kickstarter was super helpful. So thank you to everyone. Can't wait to get started on working on all that stuff. All right, without further ado, let's unload this kiln. <gasps> okay, let's do it. I don't really know. I just, you know, sometimes I just do things. Okay. This thing, we got are some plates. So these are plates that we're just, that I'm just making for the coffee shop to use them. Can you see that? So these are just, Sometimes when I make plates, I try and make them really thick on the ends so that they won't break. And then I also just like try a bunch of stuff, right? I just kind of test them out. So I just like kind of poured some buttercream, did some little green blue stuff. This one I kind of crushed up the glaze and then just put the, it's kind of cool. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think of that? Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I'll bring these right upstairs. They'll get washed in the dishwasher, and then we'll start serving breakfast sandwiches, muffins, whatever. That is the nice thing about having my studio here. Is it's like, I'll just pull it out and bring it up. Close to when it's at my house, I'm gonna have to like, load it up in the car and bring it to the coffee shop. All right, all right, friends, are you ready for this? All right, first off, I gotta take a picture. All right, I'm gonna pull out the mugs first, and then I'm gonna pull out the big piece. Oh, that glaze. So we just got some Minnesota mugs. The glaze is in perfect form. Got some twisted, twisted mugs. Beautiful. Those are just gorgeous. So I'm starting most of this stuff, I think, is all gonna be for the Kickstarter. Either the, so this these are Minnesota mugs, sold a few of those on the Kickstarter. A few Minnesota mugs with the trees. Look at that, that is just, just good stuff. Good, good stuff. Ready? Ready for this? Oh, here it is. That big piece made of 25 pounds of clay. Oh, yes. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm really excited. This turned out for size comparison. Oh man, I almost dropped that. Fits over my whole head. That is not light. The glaze on there turned out perfectly. You can see the, the handprint. I like how it's like kind of subtle. You kind of have to like, you almost have to know it's there, but the glaze kind of like went around it, which is pretty cool. 
beautiful. Beautiful. It's probably one of the bigger pieces. God, I'm so happy that came out. He's coming to pick it up today and it'll be in the church on display tomorrow. So, so thanks Trinity. Trinity Lutheran. So I just gotta take some pictures of that. That's really why I'm unloading this kiln this morning. Oh, and then the, you can see the, see the cross in there. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. I just need to like get, make it two hours without breaking that thing. If I were to do this again, I would not throw it in one piece. 25 pounds, as of right now, I think is too much clay for one piece for me. Like I did it, obviously, it's fine, but the, it's, there's a lot of clay. There's a lot of clay in here that I did not get up. So I would do it in two pieces. I would do it, because I, I feel pretty good about 10 to 15 pounds. So I'd probably do two 10 to 15 pounds, and then I bet it would be quite a bit larger, and it would be quite a bit more. I mean, I don't know. It's sometimes it's hard for me to tell, like, I'm talking a lot. I got a message from someone that really loves my videos, a four-year-old. Shout out to this four-year-old. But she said she likes it in the videos where I don't talk as much. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna find her name. Julia Pond sent me a message. Her four-year-old loves the videos where, in her words, I don't talk too much. This, yeah, this is her. Wait, I'll ask. Wait, Lydia. What are we doing? Lydia. Yeah, <laughs> you want to learn about some clay? Yes, but she's watching our video. Oh, for Lydia, I think her name was Lydia. I'm gonna stop talking and just keep unloading this kiln. These are all just basically mugs. Look at that drip. Look at that drip right there. Nothing on the bottom. Got our got our new JTP logo on there. Whoops, it's upside down. That's just that's I just you just can't even. Just can't even. So yeah, these are all Moke Monkey logo ones for the Kickstarter. Sold quite a few of those. So that's exciting. So if you got one of the Moke Monkey logo mugs, you might be getting one of these. Look at that drip! So, <laughs> not sure what I'm gonna do about that. So, beautiful. So I have been firing, I don't know if anyone's, if I've even talked about this yet, but I've been firing everything on a little cookie or a little piece of clay. Some of them I just had Minnesota's left over. Um, some of them I used the coasters because I had a bunch of those. But a lot of them, um, I just use like little, I just use cookie cutters and cut out circles, and then I just brush a little bit of kiln wash on there, and it's been so awesome. Like before I was getting all these little things on the bottom, and now the bottoms are just pristine. Bottoms are pristine. Yeah, I definitely recommend, I've, for a long time people were like, oh, do you use those? Like I put them underneath every mug, and I was like, no, that's stupid, I don't wanna do that. Uh, but now I started doing it, and it's awesome. I would definitely recommend it. One thing that will happen if you get drips is like what happened on this one. You see that? So that drip actually drips below the mug. <laughs> so this would have totally dripped right on the kiln shelf, but since I had it up a little bit on a cookie, it didn't. Now I have to like grind it off or do something because it doesn't, it won't sit flat, right? It like sits, you see that? So if here's the bottom. It's not level. So I'll probably just do use a grinding disc and just grind that down. All right, and all the rest of these are just what a Monk Monkey custom mugs or or there are some Minnesota as well. Boom. But yeah, they all, everything turned out pretty good. So now I'll just go through and make sure they all sit flat, make sure the bottoms are all good. I'll gr use the grinding, grinding pad if I need to. Boom. Guys, we got two, we got two packages in two days. So this one is from Sammy and Monique. 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 I don't know how to say it. Let's see what it is to John the Potter from Sammy and Monique. This is a nice note. They're both in school and they wanted to make to share a mug along with a leash for my pup. Recycled climbing rope dog leashes. That's awesome. 
For every leash sold, we donate one to a program near. So we hope you enjoy your little goodies. Keep doing what you're doing. Sweet, thank you guys. I haven't even seen it yet, but if you search on the Etsy store, Project Recycled. Look at that. Wow. So that's the mugs that they, and they have an Etsy store. Project Pup Cycled. That's really cool. Great, that glaze looks like it was a little uh, JTP inspired. The underglaze, that's really cool. I like that a lot. And the clay, nice. Awesome, nice mug, you guys. And then a leash made out of climbing rope. That is super cool. Super cool idea, guys. Project Pup Cycled. Go check them out on Etsy. That's really, really cool. I love it. Being a climber, climber myself. Thanks, Sammy and Monique. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. That's it, guys. That is it for this video. Thanks, shout out to Connell Clay for sponsoring this video. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say besides subscribe, like, comment if you haven't already. Share this video. I have a Patreon page, Instagram, all the things, except for Twitter. I don't do Twitter. No Twitter for me. See you in the next video. Bye.